Hi, yeah, it's Rhea here. So today I have here two small boxes um, that I I bought from Etsy, and they are um, they are some plant cuttings and plant pops. So <laughs> I'm gonna do an unboxing char. <laughs> So first, I'm gonna um, open this small box. I believe this is um, a kalang a type of types of kalangkowi. Um, kalangkowi are are like this. I have here two, just the common one that we we normally find in in garden center and in you know plant shop. And they're very easy grower, and they are uh, an uh, easy to care succulent type of plants. So. Is there these two are what we also um what also known to be um the mother of thousands because they grow when they mature they give so many babies so i have here two different types of it um i started to like kalangkowi now because um, although what I have here are quite leggy, but they don't really demand a lot of care and they're very, very prolific grower too. They grow so, so fast. So uh, she wrapped it in a small, nice um, wrapping paper. And inside is the tin foil. I think it's to prevent um, um it's to prevent the plants from getting really frosty and cold and inside <laughs> she put it in a tissue paper to so they're very tiny <laughs> i don't know if you can see it ah. <laughs> But they're very tiny. Mm, they're babies, but it's okay. Um, it's okay because this um, kalangkowi, um, called or also commonly called as the um, um, devil's backbone, they are. They will grow so quick. For me, I'm sure. Mm. <laughs> then the next one is the i uh, know i think this one is the the pickled the chubiplora kalangkowi chubiplora sorry this one is the devil's backbone so many plants here there you go i think this is the one sorry i made a mistake this one there's no name you see this one is the kalangkowi devil's um Back, backbone and they are also commonly known as the um, mother of thousands because when they grow they will give out so many babies hmm. and there's four of them there's four of them kind of put it there sorry I'm gonna show again the other one, they are the Kalankowi Chubiplora. You can't really see <laughs> because it's too tiny. There you go, little babies. Mm. I like, they are just cheap. They're just a pound for about, I don't know how many seedlings. And I, I don't mind having small plants and even um, just like... It's just like cuttings because I like I like um, to see them grow, and I I I also enjoy um, learning from this type of plants. I mean I I killed so many plants, you know, so many I mean so many cuttings, but you know that's the way it goes with um, learning in in growing plants. You know, you have to have some mistakes. And then you learn from it and <laughs> do not do the same mistakes again. <laughs> Just like life, you know. If you made one mistake, of course, don't do it again. 
or else you'll be that's foolishness <laughs> then this is my i think this I, this one i believe are my hoya and she has a small card from from hampshire england they i think um I got per cuttings four pound, which is quite expensive on 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 what I can I can able to pay for a plant. It's quite expensive. I mean, for four or five pound, I can get a, one full plant of different um, species. But ho this one are hoya hoya cuttings and hoya like this plant here are that I get most of them from cuttings. They are not. Um, they are not uh, available in plant plant um, in the garden center and the plant or in the plant um, shop. Um, it's hard to find them, so um, I got cuttings from online instead. And as I said, I like growing plants from cuttings and rooted cuttings, so I get to see how they grow. And it's like really having babies, you know. <laughs> It's like uh, having babies you have them in a small little um, little thing and then you you care for them and you give them all the love and attention and they grow and and it's nice it's very fulfilling and it's very um, um, it's you know it's worth it to see your plants growing from your own care so I believe there's no name but I believe this is a Hoya, so many plants here. This is a Hoya Memoria gracilis, I think, um, as I can remember. Uh, you can see the Hoya has really quite bold and bold color in leaves and very thick, like a card, like a cardboard. And it is also a, a vining plant um, they trail so here it is and it's a rooted cutting it's a rooted cutting it has a good roots mm. it's um quite similar from what i have here the pubicalyx um, let me see quite similar from my other one here which is the pubicalyx see uh, let's see from there you go there's the leaves and this is the leaves of the they're quite the same really but the pubicalyx is quite more elongated and um, darker in shade while this this one is smaller small and lighter in in shade mm, really pretty plant i'm happy so i got this too <laughs> you see light lighter in color And then the next one is just a cutting, I believe. Um, wow, I got two. <laughs> I only, I actually only pay for one. For I think the, in the picture this one, but she gave me extra one, which is nice. And it you can see there's already a small growth of roots. Mm. And this is a hoya. Ahoya SPAF Bortone So I think the name the full name is Hoya Hoya um species um SP is a uh, uh, short for uh, abbreviation of species um AF is the affinity affinity Bortone So look it's really <laughs> it's really cool plant it, the the shape of it it's like button like shape and then if you close if you look at closely it has like um a, a, a bit dark green margin in its leaves 
Mm. And it's the same the same texture as well as my Hoya. Quite waxy, waxy and really thick, like a cardboard type of um, texture. Mm. I, I really love Hoya. They are one of my favorite um, uh, types of plants. Um, not not just because um, they are pretty and attractive in their foliage, but they also have a very, very beautiful um, flowers. Um, uh, but it's quite really challenging to have them <laughs> blooms because they are not uh, they are not really an easy grower, and um, they really like high humidity and they also um, like to have the right types of soil. But what I have here, I don't really want to spoil my plant so much. So the same types of soil, just a compost soil, and I mix it with but a little bit of potting grit and I put some plant food. I mist them and um, uh, put them close in a humidifier and also good good, um, good sunlight, not too direct, um, but a good enough sunlight. Um, but they are, not, they are not really dying on me. They are actually growing, but just really slow. Like for example, this, um, this um hoya hoya australis it took me it took a while i got it from a, a rooted cutting and it took really a while to have it um you know like um have it have it like this little growth here it's only just recently that it um sprout out new leaves hmm. but that that's the way it is with getting plants from cuttings and or rooted cuttings because if you see them grow give growth um it's really quite exciting and um you feel proud of yourself that you know you make them grow and this plant are not an easy plant at all <laughs> so so it's it's nice it's nice to have that kind of feeling make you feel proud as i said and also my kalankowi i have two new small um, kalankowi so I will have three different variety of kalankowi now um, before I didn't really get get um, excited with this plant because um, um, it's just very common but um, when I found out that it has many varieties actually and whatever varieties of kalankowi it is they don't really demand a lot of care they always thrive so I said okay I'm gonna try two more of um, kalankowi and see how uh, how it goes so that's why i get the small pops and small um rooted cuttings so i hope that i'm gonna i'm gonna repot them shortly after this so um so they will not gonna gonna <laughs> gonna stress out so much i'm gonna repot them now and maybe with my hoya cuttings i will just soak it in water um i will have it rooted in water first i don't have any you know what they they use like sphagnum moss or or clay pebbles i only most of my cuttings i only um put them in in water to to root it out so um, i'll do the same i'm not gonna spoil them much because i <laughs> i'm i'm not really um i don't have enough of um money to to pay all those uh, demands that the plants need so i only know i on i will only use what i have i have here that has no cost <laughs> that that hasn't have no cost just my plants <laughs> so what i have now i'm really happy that i got i got good healthy plants and really cute um seedlings so i'm gonna give you an update so soon on how they they on how they are in my care so bye